Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Take 5. We're taking time out of your day to talk movie news. Now we're going to decide the top three movies of the summer. So we, we discussed it, your top three, my top three, Tanner's top three. What, do, what would we say is the number one movie of the year? Well, I guess the only, I would say you, Lone you Ranger, said, yeah. considering all three of us have an equal said mindset. Low Ranger. Okay. So um, we all ahead. picked it in our list. Do we have the marker for this? Do we, do we lose it? The magic yes. marker. Okay, so what would we say is number two right now? I mean, we've got Star Trek, Iron Man 3, Gatsby. Those three came up quite a bit. Um, I feel like my list isn't going to get a ton of love, because well, I'm the only one that said Gatsby and <laughs> World War Z. However, I'm, you I'm, both said Iron Man 3, and you both said Star Trek. That's true. So... But I mean, but. I I love Gatsby. So it's probably my number four favorite. Yeah. And so I I would be. And I to didn't argue go that. see Gatsby. And it, Gosh, what's wrong okay. with you? <laughs> so it's just you're just waiting to get slapped, aren't you? Listen, I was in the middle of stuff, guys. <laughs> I had to do things. Oh, oh we're, in, we're, <laughs> we're Oklahoma we're making, Shakespeare Festival. Oklahoma oh, Shakespeare oh, Festival. Mm. We're making short films. I would say Star Trek is probably our mutual agree, higher vote of of yeah. the movies that we agreed on. I so I would say so. it's probably in the top three. What, do you, did you watch World War Z? No, I... What? How, I how okay, we, how okay, situation? Listen. Just because of that, I just want to put in one of Corey's movies. Just to, no, just and I'm, <laughs> I'm totally, like... Because I wanted to go see World War Z so bad, mm -hmm. and then I had originally wanted to read the book before I went and saw it. Okay. But... I started it, and then you guys went and saw it, right. and told me that it was nothing like the book. Which is which is kind of a testament to the movie itself, the fact that it's it was still really it was good. still good yeah. despite the fact that which, it had a book that is loved and is a bestseller. I mean, you look at like Hunger Games or or Lord of the Rings movies that are like dissected, Harry Potter books and stuff. They're like, okay, well they changed that, so I'm pissed, you know. So yeah, right. But they were able to tell still tell a good movie from that book, which I think is impressive. See, so. that's what I like about it. Even mm -hmm. though I didn't see it, I loved that people l liked the movie, mm -hmm. even though it was an adaptation, yeah. however you would say it, from the book, yeah. which that nowadays never comes off well. That's true. So, so I really... We, so what do we, do we think? So we've, we've got Lone Ranger number one. Number two, I would say Star Trek. I would too. The Star Trek. And so number three, I think between us it's Iron Man right. three, but <laughs> right. for you it's Gatsby, and which I've I enjoyed Gatsby as well. I would argue, I would say Gatsby's better. I would say it's better than World War Z. However, World War Z I think overcame more in terms of like Lone Ranger. It was kind of attacked out the gate. It was it was kind of judged harshly for a large budget and uh, production, you know, problems and things of that nature. I think Brad Pitt was kind of. You know, being for the first time ever, having to be on both sides mm -hmm. of uh, the camera yeah. to to a huge degree. It was his production company, um, and it turned out to have the exact opposite effect in terms of being incredibly successful. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it had a huge backing uh, by book fans and things mm -hmm. of that nature. Okay. So I think it definitely, which Gatsby as well, but Gatsby definitely stuck pretty close to the book, in my opinion. It did, yeah. I, I didn't see any real big changes from the original yeah. story. So I think, I, and I, the fact that he was able to translate it to a modern audience, which wasn't, I mean, they've there's been countless great Gatsby plays and movies that they've done and they just weren't as successful. So I think that he it was able to pull it off and was able to do it with rap music in the, you know, our, our age's music was pretty impressive so but I would say I'd say three I, I'm willing to make an exception to say three and four I would think I would think Iron Man three and then Gatsby so there you have it we have Lone Ranger number one we have Star Trek number two and we have Iron Man at number three followed by Great Gatsby an honorable mention at four yes so there you have it that's our top movies of the summer along with our bottom three movies of the summer so never ever watch Man of Steel. Never watch Man Please of Steel. Don't Please don't give that movie. Don't money. watch Man of Steel. Don't do give watch it money. Lone Ranger. <laughs> that, if you learn anything from our ramblings, that's it.